thousands each year just took a major hit. Yeah, thieves caused tens of thousands of dollars in damage. And as Brian Archer shows us live on five, it is church leaders hot in more ways than one. This is Vine of Hope Community Center. That's a nice table. Freddie Barrio is here to pick up some needed items. He's one of thousands of people in Lorain County who are helped here each year. We have to eat this stuff every day, okay? They're very nice people. They help a lot of people. And Freddie helps out here too. He volunteers to run the center's boxing program for area youngsters. There's also a food pantry and a chapel. The 200 member center provides clothing, furniture, appliances, and household items for those around Lorraine who can't afford it. It's really nice over there. Courtney Capers came here with her Aunt Yvonda. The young mother was hoping to get a dryer. It's really nice. It's a blessing that people can donate this stuff. So people who are a little less fortunate at the moment, like me, can come and take advantage of this. But this past weekend, something unexpected happened. Well, it was devastation for us when we realized that someone had done something like that. That something was that someone disconnected and stole two outside air conditioning units. We struggled to get those units. It cost us almost $30,000. A difficult loss for an organization that needs every penny it can get. It put us in a really bad spot. Um, to have to go through this on top of everything else because we function off donations. We get very little funding. Center coordinator Teresa Frazier is determined not to let this setback affect those who need the center's help the most. These families are still in need. No matter you know what has happened, we'll struggle through it. Live on 5 in Lorraine, I'm Brian Archer. A vine of Hope says it won't find out if its insurance covers the theft until later this week. They're asking anyone who has any information about what happened to contact Lorraine Police.